My name is Planlas and welcome to Indie Bits, the show where I give my first impressions on new indie games. In Cardaclism, you're a wizard that's screwing around with very powerful magic when, whoops, accidentally unleash the apocalypse. And of course, it is up to you to clean up your mess. Whenever you start a run, a map is randomly generated for you to explore. In it, you can run into different monsters and it is time to do have a fight. On each one, you must spend a limited resource during your turn to summon monsters that each have their unique damage, cost, health, and abilities. Apart from monsters, you can cast spells that have lots of different uses, like buffing your units or damaging the enemies. Most fights are super quick, they end in just a couple of turns, and a lot of times you can even end them in the first one. While exploring the map, apart from enemies, you can find a lot of different stuff like new equipment to add to your guy, or even a currency that will be useful later on. You can't take your sweet time to explore though, it is best that you find the exit to the level soon, since after some time a horseman of the apocalypse will spawn and chase you down. Get the fuck away from me, you're not even wearing a face mask! In between runs, you'll end up in the interdimensional pub, where you can do lots of different activities, like use gather currency to buy new cards, accept trade offers or quests from NPCs, and it's a good time to customize your deck. Oh, and if you're curious, if the horseman does catch you, you get to fight him. And let's just say when I tried it, it didn't go super well. At least you can recover the card's loss from that run later on. In general, I think Cardaclism is pretty cool. I like that even though the combat is not super deep in strategy, it is fun to pull off victories quickly, and I think the implementation of certain RPG mechanics like equipment is a great idea. There were a few things that held it back for me though, mainly that the story is not very fleshed out or compelling, which adds to a loss of sense of progression. And exploration within maps is not as interesting as I think it could be, which makes it feel repetitive quickly. But there is definitely some fun to be had here, especially if you're into card battling roguelites. Because of this, on my should you try it scale, I give the score of worth a shot. I'll be giving away free Steam keys for this game that were kindly given to me by the devs. If you want to enter the raffle, follow the link in the description.